In this video, I want to discuss further considerations for this part here. The first consideration is when it's time to tear this jig apart and repair it, or for whatever reason it needs to be torn apart, how will this part come off? Well, obviously we'll take the bolts out. But then how do we slide this off nice and evenly without damaging anything? And if we come off crooked, we'll probably snap a dowel. And there isn't a lot of room in here to push it off or tap it off with a hammer. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to open this part up. And I'll look normal to this face. And what I want to do is I want to add a threaded hole here in the middle, or if I had more room, closer out to the dowels, two threaded holes, where I could put a bolt in them. Just control tab back here. So that when I tighten up through this threaded hole, the bolt will push against this face and help slide this part off the dowels. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that now. So I've gone ahead and I've added two quarter 20 tap tools here so that when it's time to disassemble this, I can put a quarter 20 socket head cap screw here and push against this face and push this off nice and slowly off the dowels by turning this half a turn, this one half a turn, and keep going back and forth till it just slides off of these two dowels. And if I'm worried about debris collecting in these during use, I can go ahead and put a machine screw in to block them. So I now have the ability to remove this part smoothly without damaging anything because of these two holes. And then next, the pull dowels, as seen here in the video, could be pulled out using the dowel puller. And there are many considerations yet for this part, a lot of which will be addressed when we go to make our drawing, such as if these two, the front and back face, how will the parallelness affect the alignment pin? What about the spacing between the two dowel holes relative to the spacing between the center of this hole and the center of my dowel holes? Will that affect the alignment of the pin? So all that will be addressed shortly, but in the drawing we'll address what size should this hole be because the pin has to be made for the maximum material condition of the part hole and then we have to make the hole in this part to have a slide fit for this pin. We also need to consider and we can do this at the drawing level, what's the tolerance from the bolt hole so that it'll still bolt together? What's the tolerance here for the dowel holes so that it meets the requirements of our part? And what material should this be made out of so it can be hardened and last? In the next video, we'll look at what happens if the dowel holes are slightly out of alignment. How does that affect the alignment of our pin?